Hello everyone. Welcome back to Agri Toppers Academy YouTube channel. So today we will be doing fourth lecture from the Nimrat Sunda book. So as we were covering horticulture portion. Now the first crop which we will be doing today is radish. Radish is a very important root crop. The botanical name of radish is Raphanus sativus. It belongs to the family Brassicaceae or Cruciferae. Chromosome number is 18 and the edible part of radish is fusiform roots. You should know the type of root which is present in all the root crops like your radish it has fusiform roots carrot has conical form turnip has nappy form and beetroot also have fusiform roots so the root type of root which is present in radish is fusiform origin of radish is india japanese radish is japan and european radish is mediterranean region now mustard saw fly and painted bug these are the pests of radish Roots of radish prepared for seed production is known as stecklings. In stecklings, we take one fourth, one fourth or one third portion of the root, and that is taken for planting in the next season. So those are known as stecklings. These are basically used for seed production in case of radish. Brown heart in radish is due to boron deficiency. Seed rate of radish is five point five to eleven kg per hectare. Now some of the important varieties of radish. The first one is Arka Nishant. Arka Nishant is a multiple disease resistant variety of radish. It is an Asiatic variety which matures within forty five to fifty five days. The roots are medium sized in case of Arka Nishant and it has a marble white crisp texture. As it is multiple disease resistant, that means it is free from early bolting, pithiness, splitting, and forking. Pungency is wild, and this variety is developed from IIHR Bangalore. Next variety variety is Pusa Chetki. Pusa Chetki is for high temperature. It is a short duration variety, and the suitable sowing time for Pusa Chetki is mid April to mid August. That is, it is suitable for summer season. Next is White Icicle. White Icicle is a European or temperate type of variety. Japanese White. It is an Asiatic variety. It is less pungent or sweet in taste. Then we have Pusa Safed. scarlet globe again temperate variety pusa rashmi it is an asiatic variety pusa himani it can be grown throughout the year and it is a temperate variety of radish next is round cherry belle that is a red colored variety of radish next important crop is carrot carrot is docus carota the botanical name is docus carota and it is an annual crop for root production and biennial for flowering or fruit set because for root production we just need the roots but for by, but for flowering and fruit set we have to take it in two seasons that is in one season the roots will be produced and in the next season we will wait for the bolting so that it can flower and the seeds can be set so it is biennial for flowering and fruit set whereas it is annual for the root production kanji it is a beverage that is prepared from black carrot this question has been asked in many exams so it is important next is forking of carrot forking of carrot in this the causes are hard pan of the soil application of undecomposed fim overcrowding overwatering and infestation of meloidogyne species so forking basically uh, occurs when your hard soil it does not allow the straight growth of the roots seed rate for carrot is 5 to 6 kg per hectare some of the important varieties of carrot are pusa kesar that is suitable for early sowing pusa meghali it has the highest vitamin a content chantney is for canning and storage it is a european or a temperate variety of carrot imperator is for late maturity again european variety ut1 nantes amsterdam all these are temperate varieties of carrot next uh, crop which we will be we will be covering is cucurbits now a lot of uh, crops are there which are present in this cucurbitaceae family and a lot of sex forms are also present in cucurbits like the, we have monoecious androecious gynoecious andromonoecious gynomonoecious then hermaphrodite and dioecious so a lot of sex forms are present in the cucurbits but um, in this lecture we will be just covering the important points that has been mentioned in your nimrat sunda book The first point is Pusa Vishwas and Arka Chandan. These are varieties of pumpkin. Arka Chandan is high in uh, beta carotene also. Pusa Chikni is a variety of Turai, that is Ponch God. 
बिकानेर ग्रीन दिल पसंद हिसार सिलेक्शन वन आर द वेराइटीज ऑफ टिंडा राउंड गॉड पाउडर मिल ड्यू इन क्यूकोरबिट्स इज ड्यू टू इराइसी पे सिकोरा सिरम एंड डाउनी माइल ड्यू दैट इज ड्यू टू सूडो परनासपोरा क्यूबेंसिस येलो वाइन ऑफ क्यूकोरबिट्स इज ड्यू टू सिरेशिया मार्सेंसेंस देन बर्ड निक्रोसिस दैट इज मोस्टली इन वाटर मेलन एंड इट इज अ वायरल डिजीज इन वाटर मेलन एंड दिस इज ट्रांसमिटेड बाई थ्रिप्स प्लीज रिमेंबर this uh, bud necrosis is not transmitted by aphids this is wrongly mentioned in this book but necrosis is through thrips so this is a point that needs to be remembered over here now the insect pests of uh, cucurbits first one is red pumpkin beetle the scientific name is raffi raffi tuper uh, palpa coeli coleus and in this both the grub as well as the adult beetle it causes the damage to the pumpkin the grub damage the plants by boring into the roots and the underground stem so as you know the grub that bores into the roots and underground stem and does it affects your fruit and it decreases the yield but beetles are destructive to the vegetatively particularly during march april when the creepers are very young so it affects the young plant next management is apply carbofuran 3 gram at the rate 70 7 kg per hectare or methyl parathion 2% and dust at the rate 20 kg per hectare next is cucurbits fruit fly fruit fly is a very important pest in case of cucurbits this is a, one of the major pests that affect all your cucurbits the maggots that feed the pulp and seeds and infested fruits may fall prematurely and fruit becomes soft and rotten it can be controlled by bait spray containing 50 ml of melathion 35 ec and 0.5 kg good per molasses in 50 liter of water for 1 hectare next is cucurbit mite that is tetranicus cucurbitae it is also known as red spider mite the, uh, they suck the cell sap by making webbing on the underside of the leaves so this is a symptom of the a uh, red spider mite that when you see underside of the leaves a web like structure is present damage is confined to the lower surface of the leaves it can be controlled by spraying dicofol or ethion 50 ec at the rate 1.5 ml per liter next important crop is cucumber that is cucumis sativus this has been originated in india chromosome number is 14 it is also known as khira primitive sex form of cucumber is monoecious monoecious means that both male and female parts of the plant are present on different flowers but in the same plant so the primitive sex form of cucumber is monoecious and this is the reason that why inbreeding depression is not found in cucurbits this is an additional information just for your knowledge generally what happens is inbreeding depression is mainly found in the cross pollinated crops on selfing in cross pollinated crops in breeding depression occurs but since the primitive sex form of cucumber is monoecious therefore on selfing no in breeding depression comes in case of cucurbits now pillow disease of cucumber that is due to calcium deficiency very important point vector of cucumber mosaic virus is aphid seed rate is 2.5 kg per hectare varieties of cucumber are pusa sanyog that is a gynoecious variety of cucumber next is japanese long green japanese long green is suitable for temperate region it is extra early variety by iri ketrain and this is suitable for hilly regions next is poinsett poinsett has been introduced from usa and that's, that has been multiplied by the national seed corporation developed originally at charleston this is a multiple disease resistant variety in case of cucumber it is resistant to powdery mildew downy mildew anthracnose and angular leaf spot next is balam khira some other varieties are sheetal khira 75 khira 90 himangi phule shubhangi all these are varieties of cucumber next important crop we are doing is citrullus lanatus that is water melon water melon fruit it contains 92 to 95% water metallic sound at the time of harvesting shows immaturity and heavy dull sound at the time of harvesting shows maturity these are the maturity indices which are present in watermelon the drying of tendril at the base of the fruit is also a sign of maturity and also one other sign is yellow spot you will see a yellow spot at the base of the fruit generally when we go to buy the fruit from the market also we see that yellow spot in the 
watermelons which have a prominent yellow spot we tend to buy that watermelon it indicates the maturity of the watermelon bud necrosis i told you earlier also in watermelon is due to virus and this bud necrosis is not transmitted by aphid it is transmitted by your thrips please remember this point that bud necrosis in watermelon is transmitted by thrips seed rate is 4 to 4 to 4.5 kg per hectare now the varieties of watermelon varieties include your sugar baby it is very sweet having 11 to 13 percent tss durgapur meetha durgapur kesar durgapur kesar is a yellow fleshed variety of watermelon pusa rasal asahi yamato arka jyoti improved shipper and american introduction hybrids are arka manik it is powdery mildew resistant pusa bedana as the name indicates bedana means seed seedless and triploid variety next is musk melon musk melon is cucumis mellow high temperature at the time of fruit maturity and ripening it increases the sweetness so during maturity when the fruit is about to mature and ripen if the temperature is high that will increase the tss or it will increase the sweetness in case of musk melon musk melon is harvested at full slip stage now this is the maturity index in is in musk melon we have half slip stage and full slip stage all the musk melon varieties are harvested at full slip stage except one variety that is your hara madhu hara madhu is harvested at half slip stage and that is netting stage seed rate is 1.5 to 2 kg per hectare and for dibbling method it is 1 kg per hectare now the varieties of musk melon we have durgapur madhu hara madhu arka jeet arka jeet is, has the maximum tss pusa madhuras pusa rasraj punjab sunheri punjab sunheri is resistant to powdery mildew arka rajhans also resistant to powdery mildew dmdr2 now durgapur madhu early variety hara madhu is late and arka jeet has excellent flavor very sweet it has the highest tss pusa rasraj is early and arka rajhans excellent transport quality next important crop is bottle gourd bottle gourd bottle gourd scientific name is lagenaria cisaria known as locky seed rate is 3 to 6 kg per hectare varieties are pusa summer prolific long pusa summer prolific round pbog panth sankar samrat has the highest yield arka bahar pusa manjri punjab komal pusa meghdoot pusa meghdoot is the first f1 hybrid by public sector next crop is p belonging to leguminosae family that is spicum sativum leguminosae family or fabiaceae family garden p is spicum sativum variety hortense and your horticultural p that is used for vegetable purpose it is spicum sativum variety arvens garden p is generally used for your vegetable purpose and your um your field pea that is arvens that is used for fodder purpose or seed purpose this garden pea is used for canning and it is eaten as a green vegetable also known as table pea next is field pea that is arvens as i told you this is used for dal fodder and green manure pea is a rich source of protein about 25% protein is present in the dry seeds and tender pod it contains 7.2% protein state which is having the maximum area and production is up next in india pea is the most important or most popular canned vegetable because generally people use it in off season so they freeze it so frozen peas are very popular in india so it is very popular in canned vegetable wrinkled seeded varieties are sweeter than the smooth seeded maturity of pea is measured by tendrometer stem borer of pea is usofera particella powdery mildew is due to ericifa polygyny seed rate it has a very high seed rate that is your f1 hybrids are not popular among peas because the seed rate is very high in case of your peas according to handbook the seed rate is 100 to 110 kg per hectare so a very high seed rate now some of the varieties of pea first one is azad pea 1 next is jawahar matter 1 susceptible to powdery mildew bonville suitable for dehydration introduced from usa arkel it is sickle shaped pods wrinkled and dwarf variety silvia whole pod is edible in case of case of this 
Sylvia. Then we have Arka Ajit, resistant to powdery mildew. Harbhajan is an extra early variety. Then is Hisar Harith 1, Aparna first dwarf variety. In, this is important. Aparna is the first dwarf variety in case of peas. Type 163, field pea variety. Rachna is powdery mildew resistant. Swandrekha, early maturity. Meteor, smooth seeded and dwarf variety. Next is cowpea. Cowpea is another important crop from the leguminaceae family. It is known as Lobia, Vigna sinensis, leguminaceae family. Native place of Africa. The seed rate for rainy season crop is 12 to 15 kg per hectare and for summer it is 20 to 25 kg per hectare. And for fodder purpose it is 34 to 40 kg per hectare. Pest of cowpea is pod fly that is Ophiomyia fasciolae. Varieties are Pusa Bar Barsati, Pusa Dofazli, Pusa Rituraj, Pusa Komal, Kansi Gauri, Pusa Falguni Dwarf variety and another one is Pusa Sukumal. Cluster bean is, is Cydmopsis tetragonolobus, family is Leguminaceae. Rajasthan is the first in production and area of cluster bean. It is used as a cattle feed and fodder making gums, raisins and explosive. Immature pods are used as a green vegetable. Seed rate is 15 to 20 kg per hectare. Varieties are Pusa Sada Bahar for vegetable purpose, Pusa Mosmi for vegetable purpose, Pusa Nav Bahar again for vegetable purpose, Durgapur Safed for grain purpose and early variety. Next is the leafy vegetable that is your Palak spinach, Beta vulgaris variety, Bengalensis, not spinach, spinach is Spinacea oleracea, but Palak is known as Beta vulgaris variety, Bengalensis. Both are different. Palak and spinach both are different. Seed rate is 20 to 25 kg per hectare. Varieties are Punjab Green, All Green, Pusa Harith, Pusa Jyoti, Jobner Green, which is a mutant variety, Pusa Bharti, a polyploid variety. Now we will cover the floriculture portion. Now leading flower and flower product exporting country is Netherlands. Leading flower products importing country is Germany. Country having largest market of the cut flowers is Germany. Maximum area under floriculture is in Karnataka. State having maximum production under floriculture is Tamil Nadu. Area wise Karnataka and production wise Tamil Nadu. Largest importer of floriculture products from India, USA. And maximum <coughs> cut flower production in India is from West Bengal. Now the flower crop covering maximum area in India is Jasmine. But please check the latest information. Hogarth course is known as Line of Beauty. The book Beautiful Gardens that is written by M.S. Randhava. Dr. B.P. Pal, he is a very impo important rose breed breeder also and the variety that is Dr. B.P. Pal and Priyadarshini are the varieties of rose. Japanese flower arrangement is known as Ikebana. India is the largest producer of loose flowers in the world. As you know the loose flowers in India are basically used for religious purpose in marriage ceremonies for doing puja or festivals. So India is the largest producer of loose flowers in the world. Now the famous gardens. Now first one is your Mughal garden. Mughal gardens have proper symmetry. There are certain rules which need to be followed by constructing a Mughal garden. That is your symmetry should be there and even uh, separation should be there. Now the places where Mughal gardens are Pinjor, Haryana, built by Fadeh Khan. Rose garden is in Chandigarh. Mandhor garden, Jodhpur. Buddha Jayanti Park in New, Del New Delhi. Brindavan garden in Mysore. It is the biggest formal garden. National Botanical Garden in Lucknow. Now the styles of gardening, so we have formal style in, as I was telling you before, in which the plan is symmetrical. Mughal gardens, Persian gardens and Pinjor gardens, they are examples of formal style of gardening. Informal style is where the plan is asymmetrical. You do not follow any kind of symmetry. It reflects a naturalistic effect of total view and represents natural. Example is Japanese garden. Then freestyle is a combination of both formal as well as informal style. Rose Garden of Ludhiana, Chandigarh and English Gardens are freestyle gardens. Now these are the features of Mughal Garden. First is terraces, then running water, life of garden. Baradri is a 12 walled structure. In my previous lectures I have mentioned about Baradri. So we have a high protecting wall in case of Mughal Gardens and a terminal building. Next is Japanese Garden. In case of Japanese Garden, there are garden lanterns, pagoda, dry landscape and wells. And the example is Buddha Jayanti Park in New Delhi. English gardens have 
herbaceous border it has a cottage garden it has lawn lawn is a characteristic of english garden rockery example rashtrapati garden and tea garden now what is lawn lawn is known as the heart of garden no garden is complete without lawn planting of grass is in lawn by turf method is best and quickest method for planting of lawn and this method use turf piece of earth with the grasses so this is the quickest method of constructing a lawn that is turfing turf method the first crop flower crop which we will be covering is rose roses rosa species the botanical name rosaceae family origin is india it is called as the queen of flowers and rose is symbol of beauty the national flower of england best time of planting is september october and commercial method of propagation is tea budding tea budding is an important commercial method in one fruit crop also please name that fruit crop best time of budding is november to february fruit of rose is known as rose hips and this is rich in vitamin c dr b p pal is related to rose breeding gulkand is a prepared by mixing petals and sugars in 1 is to 1 ratio white flower of rose is white flower variety of roses tushar red flower variety of roses crimson glory thornless varieties are pusa mohit and suchitra to increase the shelf life pulsing treatment is done in case of rose next is gladiolus gladiolus hybridus belonging to the family iridaceae propagation is by combs or tissue culture varieties priyadarshini suchitra happy end and friendship chrysanthemum that is dendrothema grandiflora it belongs to the family compositae or asteraceae family common in is guldodi origin china propagation is by root suckers some of the important varieties of chrysanthemum are diana rakhil indira basanti birbal sahani and red gold next is marigold we have two types of marigold african marigold and french marigold african marigold is generally larger in size scientific name is tegetes erecta and the varieties are snowbird sugar beauty gold yellow orange etc and your french marigold is smaller in size as compared to african marigold tegetes petula varieties are happy orange happy yellow golden boy stardust and your french marigold is generally your french marigold is generally tetra ploid in nature then varieties are happy orange happy yellow golden boy stardust seed rate 1 to 1.5 kg per hectare now let's come to the post harvest management part that is your fruit preservation fruit preservation is generally done to increase the shelf life of the commodity after harvesting we need to preserve it for a longer time then we will go for this fruit preservation so it is the art and science of keeping the fruits for longer time without deterioration in quality in fruit preservation sodium benzoate it works on the principle it works on the principle sodium benzoate it works on the principle to check the growth of yeast whereas kms or so2 works in the principle to check the growth of bacteria and fungi so in order to check the growth of yeast we will use sodium benzoate and for checking the growth of bacteria and fungi we will use kms potassium metabisulfite or so2 one more use of sodium benzoate is in the preservation of color juices and kms in case of colorless now the principles of preservation first one is scanning fruits can be processed at all temperature at a temperature of 100 degree celsius in canning we uh, do it for fruits we preserve it at 100 degree celsius and for vegetables we process it at 115 to 121 degree celsius so you should know the temperature pasteurization is heating of the fruits and vegetables juice at 85 to 90 degree celsius for 30 minutes it kills only the harmful microbes so less than 100 degree celsius it is pasteurization sterilization is heating of fruit and vegetables above 100 degree celsius it kills both beneficial and harmful microbes so canning is at 100 degree celsius for fruits and 115 to 121 degree celsius for vegetables pasteurization is less than 100 degree celsius 85 to 90 for 30 minutes and sterilization is more than 100 degree celsius next is freezing 
फ्रीजिंग इज द कूलर स्टोरेज एट फिफ्टीन डिग्री सेल्सियस रेफ्रिजरेशन और चिलिंग जीरो टू फाइव डिग्री सेल्सियस क्रायो प्रेजर्वेशन इज जनरली डन इन लिक्विड नाइट्रोजन दैट इज प्रेजर्वेशन बाई लिक्विड नाइट्रोजन एंड द टेम्परेचर इज माइनस वन नाइन्टी सिक्स डिग्री सेल्सियस ड्राइंग रिमूवल ऑफ मॉइस्चर बाई अप्लाइंग हीट इज कॉल्ड एज ड्राइंग एग्जाम्पल रेजन्स जनरली सन ड्राइंग इज डन इन केस ऑफ ग्रेप्स प्रेजर्वेशन थ्रू ऑसमोसिस हाई कंसनट्रेशन ऑफ शुगर एग्जाम्पल जैम इट कंटेन सिक्सटी एट परसेंट शुगर देन सॉल्ट प्रेजर्वेशन इज डन बाई सॉल्ट फिफ्टीन टू ट्वेंटी फाइव परसेंट इट एक्ट एज अ प्रेजर्वेटिव फॉर एग्जाम्पल इन केस ऑफ पिकल्स प्रेजर्वेशन बाई केमिकल्स सो फर्स्ट वन इज के एम एस दैट इज पोटेशियम मेटाबाइसल्फाइड यूज इन थ्री फिफ्टी टू फाइव हंड्रेड पी पी एम और जीरो पॉइंट जीरो फाइव परसेंट सल्फर डाइऑक्साइड इज रिस्पॉन्सिबल फॉर प्रेजर्वेशन इट इज यूज अगेंस्ट कलरलेस फ्रूट जूसेज और पल्प नेक्स्ट इज सोडियम बेन्जोएट जीरो पॉइंट जीरो सेवन परसेंट बेन्जोइक एसिड इज रिस्पॉन्सिबल फॉर प्रेजर्वेशन एंड यूज इन कलर्ड फ्रूट प्रोडक्ट एग्जाम्पल टोमेटो प्रोडक्ट्स फर्मेंटेशन इज डन इन ग्रेप वाइन्स इट कंटेन्स एल्कोहल सेवन टू ट्वेंटी परसेंट एंड ओल्डेस्ट एग्जाम्पल ऑफ फर्मेंटेड बेवरेजेस ये सेप्सिस मीन्स प्रिवेंट द एंट्री ऑफ माइक्रोब्स और एबसेंस ऑफ इन्फेक्शन ऑक्सीडेशन कैन बी चेक्ड बाई एंटी ऑक्सीडेंट्स लाइक एक्सकॉर्बिक एसिड दैट इज विटामिन सी और चेकिंग ऑफ इन्जाइमेटिक स्पॉइलिंग दैट इज ब्लांचिंग इन केस ऑफ वेजिटेबल्स ब्लांचिंग इट कीप्स कीपिंग वेजिटेबल्स इन बॉइलिंग वाटर फॉर टू टू फाइव मिनट्स फॉलोड बाय कूलिंग नो डिफरेंस बिटवीन जैम एंड जेली जैम इट हैज राइप एंड थिक फ्लासिड फ्रूट्स विच आर यूज एंड इन केस ऑफ जेली वी हैव फाइन एंड मेच्योर फ्रूट्स पेक्टिन इज नॉट इम्पॉर्टेंट दैन एसिड बट इन केस ऑफ जेली वी नीड पेक्टिन इट इज नेसेसरी जीरो पॉइंट फाइव टू वन परसेंट पेक्टिन इज टेस्टेड बाई एल्कोहल एंड जेल मीटर जैम इज ओपेक जेली इज ट्रांसपेरेंट शुगर इज एडेड अकॉर्डिंग टू एसिड कंटेंट दैट इज सिक्सटी एट पॉइंट फाइव परसेंट एंड शुगर इज एडेड अकॉर्डिंग टू पेक्टिन कंटेंट दैट इज सिक्सटी फाइव टू सेवेंटी परसेंट जैम एग्जाम्पल्स आर प्रिपेयर फ्रॉम एप्पल पपाया टोमेटो इन जेली इन केस ऑफ गुआवा एंड एप्पल बिकॉज दे कंटेन हाई पेक्टिन कंटेंट टेम्परेचर एट एंड पॉइंट इन केस ऑफ जैम इज टू हंड्रेड नाइनटीन टू टू ट्वेंटी वन फेर एन हाइट एंड एंड पॉइंट टेम्परेचर इन केस ऑफ जेली इज टू ट्वेंटी वन टू टू ट्वेंटी टू और वन जीरो फाइव पॉइंट फाइव टी एस एस सिक्सटी एट पॉइंट फाइव परसेंट इन जैम एंड सिक्सटी ग्रेटर दैन सिक्सटी फाइव परसेंट इन केस ऑफ जेली एसिड शुड बी जीरो पॉइंट फाइव टू जीरो पॉइंट सिक्स परसेंट इन जैम एंड वन परसेंट इन केस ऑफ जेली नेक्स्ट इज डिफरेंस बिटवीन स्कोश एंड कॉडियल स्कोश इट इज़ अ स्ट्रेन जूस कंटेनिंग मॉडरेट क्वान्टिटी ऑफ फ्रूट पल्प विद कंसनट्रेट शुगर एंड वाटर एंड कॉडियल इज मेड अप ऑफ क्लियर स्वीटेस्ट जूस ऑफ द फ्रूट पल्प इन स्कोश इट कंटेन्स ट्वेंटी फाइव परसेंट जूस एंड फोर्टी परसेंट टी एस एस एग्जाम्पल इज मैंगो पाइन एप्पल लेमन स्कोश एंड कॉडियल इट कंटेन्स ट्वेंटी फाइव परसेंट फ्रूट जूस डिफरेंस बिटवीन स्कोश एंड शरबत इज स्कोश इट कंटेन्स फ्रूट जूस शुगर एंड वाटर एंड कॉडियल इज मेड बाई क्लियर स्वीटेस्ट जूस ऑफ फ्रूट पल्प In squash, it contains twenty-five percent juice and forty percent TSS. Example: mango, pineapple, lemon, and squash. And cordial contains twenty-five percent fruit juice. Then squash and sherbet difference. Squash contains fruit juice, sugar, and water. And sherbet it contains clear sugar syrup with artificial flavor. Forty percent TSS in squash and seventy percent TSS in sherbet. More than seventy percent. Squash is made from mango, pineapple. and sherbet is made from almond khaskhas and khaskhas sherbet difference between preserve and candy preserve is made from natural fruits by corking whole or cut and candy is covered with sugar and glucose subsequently grind and dried preserve like in heavy sugar syrup tender transparent example amla and murabba and candy like agra ka petha now next is some terminologies first one is bonsai Bonsai is a Japanese art of growing miniature trees and shrubs by extreme dwarfing. Best example of plant is ficus species. Generally, you have seen trees in small pots. That is a mini form of tea, trees, miniature trees. That is known as bonsai. Topiary is an art of training plants into different shape, shape of animals, birds, etc. Plants used in topiary are evergreen. Example includes duranta, muraya paniculata, and pterodendron in urban. Edges ed means when low growing perennial. This is important. Perennial annual plants are grown on the border of the plots. Examples are alternanthera and sunrose. Hedges in when shrubs are planted on boundary for fencing. 
इट मे बी ऑर्नामेंटल और प्रोटेक्टिव एग्जाम्पल्स आर करोंदा बोगनविलिया मेहंदी हिबिस्कस क्लेरोडेंड्रॉन लेंटाना इज आर द बेस्ट एग्जाम्पल्स ऑफ हेज इफ यू लाइक द वीडियो प्लीज लाइक इट एंड शेयर इट टू योर फ्रेंड्स एंड प्लीज कमेंट ऑन आर चैनल एंड सब्सक्राइब आर चैनल थैंक यू सो मच